If you head on over to the Google Nick Collection download site today, you'll find this waiting for you. In this video, we're going to have a look at what is happening with the Nick Collection. Starting in June 2018, DxO who purchased Nick Software Collection have got an update. It includes all the seven plugins that users have gotten used to. And the software also has been updated to make it compatible and more stable. It will now work with the latest versions of Photoshop, Lightroom, Photoshop Elements and with the latest Mac OS system. The improved stability should be something welcomed by those who are experiencing stability issues. And when we head on over to look at what's new, what we find is that what's actually new is that there is now a price. You have to pay 50 at the moment. It's going to be going up to 70 at the start of July. DxO are making quite a lot about the improved compatibility with the latest versions of Windows and Mac software, as well as with the latest versions of Adobe software. But there don't really seem to be any new features in the latest update. Now, you may be interested to know what my experience was using this software. Installation involved activation, which had to be done online. This was even though I was using the 30 day trial period version. Once installed, the software had shifted all the files from the Google folder into the DxO folder. As you might know, Google sold the Nick collection to DxO last year. But up until now, all the Nick collection downloads were actually being hosted by Google. And it seems from now on, all the software is going to be produced and distributed by DxO. The other significant change that I noticed was that the plugins all requested internet access every so often. This seems to make sense because the new software has a built-in update engine. And speaking of updates, DxO have said that they want to continue to update the software and that user feedback is going to be an important part of deciding what goes into those updates. I think this might turn out to be a very good idea since it will mean that the software keeps in touch with what the user base actually wants and evolves along the lines that the users require. But it might turn out to be a bad idea since, you know, you might end up with a cluttered workspace and perhaps things being a little bit less intuitive than they have been in the past. I think this intuitive workspace is one of the key strengths of uh, the Nick collection. I did find that Everything worked as before. The presets that I had and the custom presets that I created were imported without any problems and all the settings that I, I was used to worked just as they did before. So this is something which is going to be, uh, I think, a very good piece of news for those people who were wondering whether the software was going to continue being supported. It looks like the answer is yes. DxO are coming out of this fairly troubled period where they went into bankruptcy and they're trying to restructure things, but they have said that they're going to be focusing on their software packages, including the Nick collection as part of their core offering for the future. If you're interested in downloading the software, click on the link in the description. It will take you there. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you found that useful. If you did hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. I will see you later.